what's going on y'all what it is so let's go ahead and talk about it if you haven't heard diddy's mansions both in los angeles and miami were raided by the feds today and basically they're doing an investigation on some potential s trafficking charges according to several media outlets and news correspondents they said when the feds entered diddy's la mansion that td jakes was sliding back underneath the bed like this get them black Boom. get them black Cut. get them black get em. i was just bullshit but yeah, on a more serious note, they're saying that when they raided the crib out there in Los Angeles, that there were several people that were escorted out of the home. And then they also said that the mansion in Miami, that the feds pulled up on boats to raid that particular property. Now, Diddy was nowhere to be found when the feds raided both mansions, but the feds are of the belief that Diddy flew from Los Angeles to New York before the feds actually raided his Los Angeles property. Now guys, I just got an update while I was doing this video. They are also reporting that they they raided Sean Combs home in New York City so they have raided three places the home in New York City the one in Miami and the one in Los Angeles California now I would say that I'm sort of ecstatic about this particular situation that something has finally happened and transpired and everything is trending in the right direction to get this daggone predator off the streets but at the end of the day they have to find some type of link between Diddy to S10 so we don't know if there will be any type of charges but when the feds come nine times out of ten they have their ducks in a row and in the footage guys I believe you'll see that I'm going to play you all in just a minute you'll see that Diddy's son was actually at the house they got him sitting on the ground in handcuffs and things like that so this is a very good look yes a very good look because I've been looking for this ever since Kim Porter passed away. Now I know with the feds raiding Diddy's mansions at this present time has nothing to do with Kim Porter, but stick with me here because my mindset is if they can get him on something, then that opens the door for him to be investigated on all the BS that he's been accused of. Now before I play you guys these clips in regards to the situation at hand, I just want to say shout out to Al B. Shore, straight up and down 100, all right? So guys, what I want you guys to do right now is just take a seat, just sit back and chill and watch these clips and I'll be back to close the video. Breaking news right now, we're following the Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Home Bay Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs, the rapper and music executive, perhaps being linked to a trafficking investigation. You got some shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information from. We we're actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say less than 10 minutes ago. We got here even before the crime scene tape came up. So uh, we're just down the hill. If you look up the street where Tony is right now to the right, you'll see one of those bear cats and law enforcement. On the other side of those bushes, basically, is that home that is registered to Bad Boy Films, which is part of Bad Boy Entertainment. And the home, in particular, is registered not only Bad Boy Films, but to one of P. Diddy's daughters. They are heavily armed, and uh, they've been very tactical would probably be the best word to use as they uh, made entry into this home uh, this afternoon. We actually watched them as they made through their made their way through one of these uh, side gates. And as soon as they got inside the home, one of the things that first things they did was made their way into this garage that you see is open right there. Now they did take a couple of people into custody. We witnessed that. Now are they under arrest? Are they just being uh, asked about what they know? That I can't answer, but I can tell you there's three people right there that were taken into custody were, were inside that home at the time of the raid. We did see a bunch of investigators going in, making the raid in there, and clearing that as well. So they're going to do a thorough search as they conduct this raid. And so far, Stu, from what I understand and from Haley on the ground there, they have not seen, and we have not seen from our vantage point, any sign of Sean Combs, the 54-year-old who is believed to be the property owner of this. Oh my God, y'all, this is mammoth. Apparently, federal agents are raiding P. Diddy's homes in LA, New York, and Miami. In Los Angeles, they have shut down the entire area. They have two helicopters swarming above and a lot of police on the ground going in. They've also taken people into custody. One of these um, is actually Diddy's son. Now, according to law enforcement, this case is being handled out of the Southern District of New York and apparently is in regard to the S trafficking allegations he's had in recent months. 
Now, even though local law enforcement officials are involved for each of the different areas, apparently Homeland Security is the lead agent on all of this, and they have rolled up to these houses armed and have taken a lot of people out, a lot of people in custody, as you can see. Now, even though they're pulling people out and questioning them in the front yard, at this point, we don't know if Diddy is actually at any of these houses. Now, apparently in Miami, there's also footage of them rolling up on boats as well, but I'm not going to show that one here. I'm just going to kind of show what's going on right in this area. Now, I will say this. It would take a lot of strong, convincing evidence to get a judge to sign off on a search warrant on three different properties in three different states on somebody who is as big as P. Diddy is. Perhaps we'll get lucky and they will find things that actually connect him to Tupac's murder which I am convinced he is part of. I will definitely keep y'all updated to make sure that the follow. So Diddy House is getting raided right now. Not one of them, but two of them. Karma. People in Hollywood don't think karma really exists. You can pay off people you hurt, but you can't take your money and pay off your karma. Karma always come back to everyone. This is the year the entertainment business fall. Hollywood is gonna fall in 2024 look at nickelodeon look at usher look at this everything is about to come out these people do so much dirt and it hurt so many people in hollywood just for a little bit of money but they don't realize everything come in a full circle bruh you only have a certain amount of sacrifices before the devil come and collect and the devil is coming to collect i can name so many people over the years i heard that this man sacrificed or he did wrong but he thought nothing would happen to him because the people that control the matrix was backing him up. Well, the people that control the matrix, they gave him enough rope to hang himself. He's not the only one. There's more celebrities that's going to actually fall in 2024. This is the end of idol worship. You could buy cars, you could buy houses, you could buy jewelry, but you can't buy your way out of karma. Karma is a real thing. There's been so many whistleblowers over the years that's been coming out saying Hollywood is wicked. Hollywood is not what you think it is. Everything that shines and glitters is not gold. These people be so happy when the camera's cut on, but when the camera's cut off, they be talking with demons. And a lot of these celebrities can't even have mirrors in their house because they see demonic energy in mirrors. These people are deep dark in Hollywood. This is the year Karma is sitting back rubbing her hands because she's about to collect so much dark energy from Hollywood. Watch Hollywood fall this year. You heard about Puff, Maze, Total, The Locks, Black Rob, Craig Mack. We heard so many stories about this person right now. They really thought that Karma was going to skip over them. Your money can't buy you freedom, not in the universe. Breaking Diddy news. Diddy's homes are being raided by the feds as we speak. Diddy's in the crosshairs of law enforcement on both coasts of America as federal agents have descended on his Beverly Hills home. Law enforcement sources say that Homeland Security agents are in the middle of raiding his home. And there are helicopters overhead and local law enforcement is also present, although we're told Homeland Security is the lead agency. As you probably have already heard, there have been multiple allegations and several civil suits against Diddy, including human trafficking, all of which he has denied. And it appears to be tied to the trafficking allegations. Fox 11 posted a video that appears to show several individuals in handcuffs near the property. And as you can see, Diddy's sons also appear to be in handcuffs, Justin and King Combs. And this footage has been released showing that the federal agents are rolling up to Diddy's home via water. <laughs> It shows several agents standing on a boat and they appear to be armed. This is a developing story. It is happening now, but I will be covering it. So stay tuned. Well, kids, it looks like Diddy might be going to prison. Girl, the feds raided his Miami home and his Beverly Hills home today um, because of the trafficking allegation. And wait, wait, and both of his sons got arrested. TMZ is reporting that Diddy's Los Angeles home and his Miami home got raided by the feds. Also, by the way, the feds came in via water to get Diddy. This is like something you see on Bad Boys, you know, with Martin and Will Smith. This is like Bad Boy stuff. At 129, law enforcement basically told TMZ that this raid was the result of all the trafficking allegations. 
Then at 138, a rep for Homeland Security investigation said, earlier today, Homeland Security investigations, New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with the assistance from the HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. We will provide further information as it becomes available. Okay, so like I said, two of Diddy's sons were arrested or detained. They put him in handcuffs, girl. This is Justin Combs and this is King Combs. These are the two sons I'm referring to. This is them being put in handcuffs at Diddy's Beverly Hills home. And here's a view from the street of them being put in handcuffs. Far left is King and closer to me is Justin. Putting your own kids in this situation is nasty work. You remember when Justin caught that DUI and the mama came out and was calling Diddy out about his poor, basically poor parenting, poor leadership? I 100% feel like this is what she was alluding to, 100%. Like you have our son caught up in illegal stuff. You have glamorized criminal activity and now our son's gonna turn out just like you or go to jail because of you. And now look, look. It's unknown if Diddy was at either home, but I feel like he was not. Also in LA, they have shut down his entire street. Um, So yeah, it's going down coast to coast in LA and in Miami. Diddy, girl, you're going to prison. You're going to prison. You're going to prison. All right, family. So you guys just heard all of that. Now I'm sitting over here with all my fingers and toes crossed hoping that they found something that could stick to Diddy to get him off the streets. Because if we can get him off the streets, then the other things that he's been accused of, you know, can basically be investigated. So listen, it's more information that's gonna come out in the coming hours. I'm already on the phone and stuff like that, trying to get information that I can bring to you all. I want you all to feel free to drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about everything that's going on right now. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.